Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is uh, February 24, 2021. And today is Wednesday within the first week of Lent. And our gospel for today is from the account of Luke chapter 11, verses 29 to 32. And I would like to share it with you. When the crowds were increasing, Jesus began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign of the people of Nineveh, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon and see, something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah and see, something greater than Solomon is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Wednesday, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. I was deeply moved by the line of our Gospel of today which says, and I quote, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. End of the quote. You know what? It says, our generation is an evil generation. Why? What makes it evil? Reflecting on the gospel and connecting it in our lives, there are two major reasons why our generation now is an evil generation. Number one, because we disregard the call to conversion. I mean, we don't care anymore about the call to repentance. We are like deaf and, you know, blind to God's call to God's invitation to change our ways of living. You know what, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters? The absence of God is that which makes our generation evil. When there is no room for God, when people are not afraid of God anymore, that which makes the generation evil. Our generation is an evil one according to the gospel because we disregard the call to conversion and second reason why our generation is an evil one because most of the time and even myself i have the tendency of this and i am guilty of this most of the time we postpone our conversion right you know we always delays our conversion to the point that we forget to do it we always have the tendency to to procrastinate we delay, we delay, and then we postpone, we postpone, and then we forget to do it. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear people of God, delaying is not the solution. To postpone our conversion is not the solution. Delaying is not the answer. What's the solution? If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. My dear friends, the solution is like the people of Nineveh. Believe in God. Live in humility. Because when the king hear the invitation of Jonah, asking the people to repent, even the king, can you imagine? Even the king, he rose, according to the readings, he, he rose from his throne, removed his clothes, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, our generation is an evil one, but there is a good news that I'm going to tell you. Yes, our generation is evil, but we can save our generation. We can save our generation by turning to the Lord, by listening to the call of repentance. When we repent, when we turn to the Lord, we can save not only ourselves, but we can save also our families. We can save our community. And we can save our nation. By turning to the Lord, we can save our generation. And the presence of Jonah to the people of Nineveh is a sign of God's love. 
It is a sign of God's mercy for all of them. Friends, it's good to ask ourselves today, who are the Jonas in your life? Listen to them. There will be people in your family that will remind you to quit from your vices. There will be people in your family like Jonah who will tell you and invite you, come on, stop drinking, you know, quit from smoking, quit from swearing. There are people in our family like Jonah who will remind us to repent and to change our evil ways. And you know what? Because of the call of Jonah, the king of Nineveh made a proclamation. The king made a decree. He made a decree and he said, all shall turn from their evil ways, from violence that is in their hands and return to the Lord. And when God saw it, when God saw what they did, the first reading says, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. And connecting the situation of the Ninevites in our situation nowadays, I believe that the most effective vaccine that can save the world is the vaccine called repentance. Because when we return to the Lord, the virus will begin. Believe me, when we turn from our evil ways, this pandemic is going to end. When we change our evil ways, God will spare us from any danger and harm. Friends, if we change our ways, like the people of Nineveh, we will not perish if we listen to the Lord. Let me end my reflection by saying, repentance pleases the Lord. Repentance can change the mind of God. Let me end by saying and by quoting this wonderful quotation, the most beautiful blessing we have been given is the chance to repent. The sun may rise tomorrow, but we may not. But the friends, never delay your repentance. Don't postpone your conversion change your ways, repent, and do it now. Now is the best time to start our conversion. Now is the best time to start again. Amen.